This is my quick review of the Astrofy by Celestron. I love this thing. Um, but there's some few things you might want to know, learn how to do before before you go out and use this. It's how to get it aligned correctly. If this this is, I bought this as a beginner go-to scope, um, so it was a little bit challenging for me. So here is the here is the app and. We got to focus on the screen. Okay, so right out of the bat, right from the start, it will see. It will go here. Disconnect it real quick, and we'll go connect, and it will automatically assume that you are in the north. Okay, it didn't do that. Okay, well normally when you first set this up, it'll it'll set yourself, it'll set the target. It'll set you right at the north, the, at, at north. So, and it doesn't matter where your scope's pointed at. Right now, it says that it's pointed down here at the ground. Clearly it's not. So what you have to do is... There's, there's settings in here too um, about this, but uh, basically the first time you do it, you uh, align your, um, you, what I do is I go to a star, I make the tell, I start it at the uh, north position and then I slew over to a star, say Venus, because that's what's the first thing that's up in the night right now. I slew over there to the Venus and I put the um, target piece and we'll, we'll go over here, we'll do it to that guy right, right here, is I will slew over to it, we'll say go to, which it's not going to be anywhere close to it, but we'll just uh, use this as a, as an example, hopefully it's not too far up. Okay, so it's, you know, it's slewing to it right now, it's slowly moving down. You gotta make sure your phone stays on because otherwise it'll get halfway to the object and your phone will turn off and then it won't be there. Okay, so now you, you get to it, right? And it's not really even oriented right. The, the, you have to, once you get it correct on here, I move the whole scope and get it, get it um, centered in the scope by just moving the whole scope and aligning it to what I see on the screen. And then you move the next star. And oh, it and here we'll we'll go ahead and disconnect, and we'll go connect the line. Okay, so notice it starts at zero. Zero of three. So if you click this, and this is something I do at nighttime that I forget to do. We gotta set this thing so it slew over to it, and the telescope is slewing, but you can't hear it. You know, maybe now it's going too fast, but um, so you slew over to it, and you get it centered. You get the telescope centered to what you see in the eyepiece and what's on here, and then you go to the next one. But anyway, so you'd go, you tap this, okay. And it go to a little slower speed. So then you just slew over, get it more centered. And the, it's kind of weird because like, you notice I hit up to make it go down. That's because it's telling the telescope to go up, and this target to go down. It's weird like that. Anyways, and then you'd hit align again. See what I keep doing is I, maybe it's just because I'm tired at night. I will hit, I'll make it go to one first, because I think one, two, three, not zero, one, two, three, like that. So that's just me, but anyways, you start at zero, then you, so once you're at one, you'd go to this next star, so you're like, we'll, we'll go up to this. And then 
then we'll go over. And that's too far. Way too far that time too. I'll show you some other cool features here in a second too. And then you hit a line again, a line, so now it goes to two. And then let's go to the next nearest one right here. And we'll just go right over to that. Ooh, I went way too far. Because it speeds itself back up once you hit the first one along, because it expects you to kind of go quite far. Okay, we're, we'll go to this one then. And you have to select each star too. You just can't just expect it to know. it. What I mean by that, you have to see how you can go to this one and then this one. Sometimes I'll leave it right there and go to the next one and align it. And it it still thinks it wants to align with that one even if you're up here. And it's, yeah, just, just some things you need to know. So... And we'll hit align, align, and it said alignment failed. But that's because it's a, a line to a star that it, you wouldn't really be able to see. It's you want these big stars mainly. So like the Vega, that Vega's good. This one would be good. This one would be good. But these stars right here, you, it, I don't think it works too well with those stars to align it. But yeah, it once you do align it and get it centered. For instance, like I got Venus, and then I went to. See, it'd be over. Well, I guess it wouldn't even be up right now. Well, actually, it's over here, I guess. Right here. You go to that star. So I'll go from Venus to this one, and then I'll find one, say, over in here and then I'll align to it and that that works a lot better than doing it to a star like that one this little star right here um, but yeah once you get that it just like for instance like M3 M3 was awesome because once I finally figured out how to get aligned the first night it went right to M3 and centered it for me and it was beautiful here's some other things you can go right here and like for instance this is what tonight's best is and you notice how some of it's in white and some of it's in dark that shows you what you can see what's what you can see at your location um, but you got um, the sun and planets moon asteroids comets satellites um, stars deep sky measure objects constellations meteors such as that um, and it's really cool so yeah I seen let's see if we can see if these are in order so like last night I seen Messier 3 which is a globular cluster and that's basically what you see in there it's a lot a little bit fainter you know with this telescope but Oh, M3 is a it also talks to bright you. globular cluster in the little constellation of the hunting dogs. It appears as a fuzzy... No, I shut it off. Well, right now, see, it's... It, it'll... You can also t ask it where to go. You know, center it for you. Um, in this... In, in this part here, here too, so... But we'll say a deep sky object. A Dromeda galaxy. M31 is a great Andromeda galaxy. Then you can center it, go to and align. To spot, and, yet the most and align means once you get sky. centered in it. So like, you do your, uh, once you do your three-star line and say it's not, if we could travel to you, uh, um, say you move over to Jupiter, planet, and Jupiter is not quite aligned. Well, you'd hit align and, it'd say, and then it'd center it again. As M31. The galaxy was known as a nebulous spot long before telescopes were invented. In a clear sky, it is a naked eye object near the middle of the chain of three bright stars that form Andromeda. The Muslim scholar Al Sufi, in about 900 AD, mentions the little cloud in this part of the sky. M31. 
um, but you can also do so like satellites. Satellites is pretty cool. I think it's getting to them is like the hard part. So like we'll go ahead and hit go to. And now it's going to a satellite, and I have to stop this because it you don't want to go too far up with these things because it'll start to it'll go against itself, or you don't want to go too far down too. And I wish my thing would sent online a lot there. Anyways, that's my review. I love this thing. I do recommend it. Um, yeah, it's you know it emits its own Wi-Fi. Oh, it came with Celestron's um, Starry Night. Which I already had Orion Starry Night from my Dubsonian. Um, but yeah, this I love this telescope. This is, honestly, I would say this is a little bit better than my Dubsonian. It takes a little bit of time to set up where my Dubsonian, I can whip it out and I can go right to it. In fact, um, we, we, I do a youth shoot uh, where we train the youth on firearm safety and marksmanship. And we had... Um, one of our line safety officers was an um, astronomer too, and we did a camp out at the range. And uh, he is wow, that was fast. When I was showing, I asked him if he wanted to see Saturn. I just got my uh, scope out and I showed him Saturn really quickly. Where this, it would take a second. Which I mean, I could I could find Saturn with this. I could just move where the scope needs to go and align it in a red dot finder. But the Dobsonia is a lot quicker. But yeah, and it tracks things beautifully. Um, and you can get an auto guider too that helps center, keep things centered in there. But it's 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 pretty much perfect. Um, the one thing, the only complaint I would have is the mount itself. It's so wide. It's um, I would prefer something a little bit thinner. You know, where I it's, it would sit in a corner better. Where this this is kind of out in the open. So yep.